ready to share your creations with the world? This is so exciting. We are almost ready to publish. Before we do, let's review our world's environment settings. Did you know that you can check on your creations from your computer? You can see if someone is currently in your world, how many unique visitors you've had, number of likes, and more. By clicking the pencil icon, you will have the ability to change your world's name and description. You can even restore a backup of your world from here. This is also where you can get a link to share your world online. If you took advantage of sharing your world's link on Facebook, consider snapping some pictures to share online as well. It's always nice to share more about your world and the experience people can expect. From the World tab, you will notice there is a slashed out globe icon. This allows you to unpublish your world. There are many reasons you may want to do this, like having a limited time event, testing for bugs with more users, or just wanting to archive your world. The good news is, when you are ready, you can always publish your world again. With our world ready for publishing, head to your build menu and on the world tab in the top right is a globe icon. This allows you to publish your world. The first time you publish, you will need to agree to the terms and conditions. And when it is finished publishing, you will be prompted with an option to share the world on Facebook. Congratulations! From preview mode, you can now visit your world's published page and launch an open session. I always like to check the environment gizmo before publishing. If you have multiple, it's best to delete the others as it can cause visitors in your world to have different voice settings. You may consider trying different lighting for your world. If you make your world darker, look around to see if you need to add any invisible light sources. At the same time, consider adjusting your fog density and you can determine whether or not you want the grid left on. But the most important thing to check is your world's voice over IP settings. This makes sure visitors have a good auditory experience. Depending on the scale of your world, expected number of concurrent visitors, and what they will be doing, you may need to adjust your settings. Default is the standard vocal experience you've likely experienced in most worlds, including the plaza. Global makes it so everyone can hear you in the world with a bit of direction. Nearby makes your voice behave more like a whisper, and extended causes your voice to travel much further.